Okay, so first things first, you need to attach the tail to the rear link. So attach your thread. In this case, I'm using a, a bright red thread. You then just need to attach the, the corner of the tail first. So I'm just going to one, two, three. And you just wrap that around. So you're wrapping the tail around the little link. Catch that in with some thread and then just build it up. Just build it up so you've got a nice neat little head on the front. When you're happy with it, just a quick whip finish. And then just apply a touch of super glue. Okay, so that's your uh, tail attached to the rear link. Okay, so now um, we attach the um, the front link, which you, which then attaches to the to the link that's got the wiggle tail on it. On this, I'm just using a bright thread, just so you can see it. So you just run your thread all the way down. Then just put this link on top. This little hook here just prevents the um, this from slipping off the hook shank. And depending what style of fly you're tying. You could squeeze that down with a pair of pliers, or you can leave it up if you're tying quite a bulbous fly. It's going to completely hide that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, just build that up, tie the thread off. And then your rear link just loops onto there, and that's your wiggle tail. On uh, future videos, we'll show you how to do the links for smaller flies, for big pike flies, for um, the uh, the setup that you use when you use a wheel tail for a pike tube fly as well.